And we're back with the doctors on our segment every week, Should I Worry?, which we talk about everything that worries us. And one viewer writes, I've been living with HSV-1 for several years. That's a herpes virus most commonly associated with cold sores. Any new treatments for this horrible infection, Dr. Siegel? What about that? I want to get to that, but first I want to tell viewers what it is. If you have the, a blister on your lips or a red spot and it's painful or a vesicle or an ulceration, this may be herpes-1. This may be cold sores. It can be transmitted back and forth by kissing. It can be transmitted by sex. Over 30% of us have it. Over 90% of us have some kind of herpes virus. Now, in terms of treating these cold sores, cream sometimes works. There's pills that you can take to use it called Zovirax and Valtrex and Famvir. They work. Stress brings it on. Being sick with another illness brings it on. Having your immune system run down brings it on. But he asked, what's the new treatment? And the new kid on the block, but we're a couple of years away from it still, because Eric's going to ask when it's going to be in the doctor's That's office. Right. We're using edit, gene editing, literally snips of genetic material. They're going in and finding the herpes virus, which hides in nerves for your whole life. Once you have it, Arthel, it hides in your nerves. They're sticking in pieces of genetic material to splice it and get rid of it. Wow. They're very exciting. We're not not there and yet. how far are we, and would that also apply to, because now we're talking about the fever blisters, blisters, the cold sores, which I have a question about that, but that's, At least that's five years. simplex one, right? But what about the other one? Would that also Absolutely. work on that one as well? That one, the, both, both herpes, mononucleosis, and cytomegalovirus, which can affect pregnant women. All of, all of the herpes viruses. We, we just showed something. It's a genital herpes uh, thing there. What is the difference between like this and the genital herpes. And I'm glad that you went like this and you didn't go down there. So <laughs> herpes 1 is basically type 1, which is the oral herpes. Okay. And you can pass it on. It stays in your system. It's dormant for a long time. It stays in the nerve called trigeminal. And because of fatigue or stress, it can travel through the nerve and comes right over the lips. As long as you have it, you can pass it on to other people. Best treatment for this, I would say, delay your interview. You can use some Zovirax cream, one, you know, and that can short the period that you have it. The type 2 is a genital one, and that's a whole different type, and then you can get treatment exactly. And we were talking about pregnant women. If somebody has it, obviously, you have to make sure that you treat it and make sure you don't go through delivery. You get a C-section. So you said Zovirax. Is that something you get at the drugstore? You, have, you need a prescription, and what it, there's no cure for it. None of this is cure. What it does, it shortens the period of having those blisters yeah. where you have them. Now, they can go away and never come back for many years, and then they can, or, or they can come back very quickly. So nobody knows what causes this. You told me in the break, because I mentioned something like, oh yeah, it's those cold uh, cold sores. People get it in the winter time. Well, that's, that's a very good question. It has nothing to do with the winter. They just call it cold sore. But any kind of stress, fatigue, uh, it can bring it off. If you're immunocompromised, the virus can become active. And this particular uh, genetic engineering that Mark was talking about is very interesting because we're using some of the genetic codes in the bacteria by snipping these genes. And there are some associated proteins called CAS that can really target and mm. potentially may have a cure for HIV if it works in the future and many genetic diseases. Wow. So we're five years out. This is only in the mice. We have a long way to go, but exciting news. One more point to make is what all of these herpes viruses have in common, Arthel, is that they hide in your nerves. And that includes chicken pox, which is why people say to me, how did I get shingles if I already had chicken pox? Well, that's how come. Because the chicken pox virus is a herpes virus. It hides in your nerves. Yeah. These cold sores, they become inactive, latent, like a bear hibernating. And then, bam, something happens, like you get stressed. Well, does, that, does that cold sore, could that become chicken pox? Absolutely not. It's a okay. different kind it's of herpes virus. virus. Right? There's, a, there's a different kind. That cold sore can only be a cold sore. But when you have it, you want to make sure that you don't share your towels, toothbrush, or anything personal with anybody else, obviously, because that's another way. It's not just kissing. Even with the towels, you can towels, pass it down. Towels, that's a big thing, because wow. you know you have those hand towels at your, in your bathroom, and you another dry your, <laughs> your okay. reader, you wipe your face with it, and somebody else <laughs> there, in the house has it. Oh, my goodness, I shouldn't have thought eye. about that. There is an infection in the eye that's associated with this, so I want what? you to know it. Uh, the cold sores can lead to an infection in the eye. I, it, I just I just want people to know it's not something to laugh off. It's a serious No, problem. we're not laughing. I'm just no, no, saying, no, no. like, uh, wow. Uh, uh, right. Uh, it's got a wow moment. Not laughing at herpes. Or no. the towels. I'm laughing I'll at the towels. I'm, I'm happy, too. No, well, but you know what you, I'm saying? Like, we never herpes, thought about that. What I'm saying is, if you have right, herpes, right, right. you don't want to share your towels exactly. or personal stuff with other people. That's yeah. Exactly. We're not right. laughing. Exactly. No, not laughing. Exactly. Just saying you wouldn't have thought of that. Right. So thanks for bringing it up. Exactly. I would have thought of the towels. I had no idea. Yeah, me neither.